This little video will provide you with all the details you need to know about uploading your photographs, providing proper attribution for their owners, and using the map search tool to choose a location on the Interactive Map of Canada for your student artifacts that you are uploading. When you're ready to upload your photographs, having them named and all together on your computer will make the process much easier. The attribution question appears above the button to upload your photographs, but it might be easier to upload your photographs before you try to list them on the form, because then you're going to be able to see them down below while you type in the credits. When you're listing each photograph, to give proper credit to their creators, you'll need to list the title, the name of the photographer, and a Creative Commons license if you want to use one. We'd suggest using the BYNCSA license, which is attribution, non-commercial, and share alike, if you're not sure which one to select. Then, the last thing you need to do is use the search tool to find a location for your artifact. If you enter the name of your neighborhood, the address of your school, or a street address of a specific building into the map search tool, the system will automatically create a red pin on the map at the location that you've given. Then you can zoom in and then click and hold down the pin and drag it to the exact location you want to use. Your school, a park, or a building like a community centre or a historic site. Remember to check your form over for accuracy before you click Submit. Because like most other forms, any questions you've left unanswered will be highlighted in red and you'll have to go back and answer them before your artifact will be accepted. When you've submitted your artifact, a confirmation screen appears, which unfortunately provides a link back to the form. This is the problem we're still working to solve, so we are counting on all of our project participants not to share this link with anyone else. If you have another artifact or another link, you're going to need to fill out another form. We don't really have a limit on the number of forms a class can fill out, but please try to keep it to a maximum of perhaps three to five. And if you have any other questions or difficulties, please email the national team and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.